Yo, what up? It's Tiger, and right now you tuned in to Space Shower TV. Believe that. Put the lime in the coconut and twist it all up. Put the lime in the coconut and twist it all up. Put the lime in the coconut and twist it all up. Twist it all up. Twist it all up. Everybody in the party. Hey. Hold your cup high, move your body. Hey. If you twist it, scream it loudly. Hey. Cause I I used to just write. I wouldn't say it's like it was like poetry, but I used to just write lyrics. But I really didn't know how to rap it and put it on the beat. So I was like 11, 12, and I used to just have notebooks full of just rhymes. And then when I was 14, I recorded my first uh, song, and uh, you know it went. I learned how to rap to the rhythm and how to put a verse and a hook, how to format everything. And from there, I was like, I can do it. I mean, I listened to a lot of uh, Biggie. Um, I like I like Tupac, but I really didn't I didn't get into Tupac till later on in life, like probably like a couple years back and stuff like that. But I listened to a lot of Biggie, Eminem, you know, like Jay Z, early Nas. Like I listened to a lot of Michael Jackson when I was younger too. So. Can I get a replay? Hey, 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 hey. I think the artist's name was like Tiger Man. No introduction is basically, it's kind of just self-explanatory. Like, no introduction. I, I put it out, and uh, people loved it. People, it wasn't, it wasn't brought out majorly. It was kind of like independent, so we just put it out. People loved it through MySpace. I already had like little fans and people that followed my music. So it was just basically my life up to that point before like fame and you know like money and all, all that you know it was just my life before that summed up in one in the, what 14 tracks 14 songs. So. Um, it was definitely you know it was an experience, but you know I got new music you know I'm becoming more of a, um, a better artist each and every day so and I think uh, people see that and. Um, it's a good opportunity that Japan is see now what what's been going on in America and you know in my city and stuff. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's violence. It's like you know, just just like growing up in any other hood. You know what I mean? It's just like it is how it is. Like for me, um, I always took the good with the bad, and I just I just always made it my own thing. You know what I mean? Like I really didn't get into the gang banging and stuff. Like I was into the music, so. I just took the music and I went hard with that, you know, trying to get out of my, trying to get into a better situation, you know. Oh, I met Trav like a couple years back. For those of you know, like, um, we hip hop cousins. I, I look at it like that. And uh, I met him a couple years back in LA on Melrose. You know, I was passing out my mixtapes. I was like 15, 14. And um, gave him a CD. He heard it. You know, he felt the swagger. I told him I was young and everything like that. And um, he felt my energy and all that. I gave him the CD. We kept in contact over uh, AIM Instant Messenger. And uh, yeah, he, I just sent him songs. And then he flew me out. He brought me on tour with him. So I was performing with him for a little bit. I was like 16 performing with him on tour, so. And then we just built from there. Um, definitely. You know what I mean? Like, um, his advice was more just like learn and go. Learn as you go, you know what I mean? So me being around him and experiencing things and saw how he did stuff, it just made me want to do stuff better or not want to make those mistakes, you know? Um, I like working with Wayne because he always he's always ready to work. It's never no excuses. It's never no, not right now or nothing like that. He like he he real he's a real busy guy. He don't have to he doesn't have to get a time out to me as a new artist and just do songs. But I got a lot of songs with him, so he always ready to work. Um, definitely he's on I am. That's on no introduction. Um, I just released some more mixtapes. Uh, 
got him, I got a lot of songs with him, so some stuff get leaked, some stuff is supposed to be on different albums, but we'll see. showed a lot of love, you know I mean? It's different from America. Well, American, we, our attention span is more shorter. Out here, they just love everything you say, you know, everything you do, you know, they feel your energy. Um, just a respected musician, you know, I wouldn't, I, I don't want to be the best rapper, I don't want to be the best lyricist, I don't want to have the most hits, I just want to be just real and genuine, you know. What up, it's Tiger. I'm out here chilling in Japan. Um, no introduction, we'll be in stores now. Look out for that and um, just follow me, man. It's gonna be a lot of big stuff going on, so I hope you're a part of it.